Hi there, my name is Cam and in this video I'll be covering a Salesforce Martin Cloud function in under 5 minutes. Today I'll be looking at the row number over partition by function in SQL. So the row number over partition by is one of my favorite SQL functions as it gives you the ability to really simply segment and order your data sets. It's particularly useful for structuring data in a way that can overcome some of the shortcomings of MScript such as the lookup function. But before I go ahead of myself, I'd like to first step through how the function works. So the row number of a partition by function works by producing an auto increment number based on the number of rows returned in your selection query, also known as a row number. However, the real power of this function comes by allowing you to partition or group the row number count by a field. You can also order the results in an ascending or descending order. So rather than talking about it, let's look at some sample data to exemplify how this function works. Let's say we have two sets of data, a list of subscribers and a list of learning trails they've completed. And what we want to try and do is try and list the last three trails that each of these subscribers has completed. We can solve this by selecting the list of completed trails and adding a row number field. Here we can partition the subscriber's ID field thus creating segments of data based on the subscriber. We can then use the by keyword to set the order to which the data will be selected in. Here we can use the completed date field in descending order. And this will order our data from most recent to least recent. So now our data will be segmented by subscriber, ordered by the completion date, and the row number field will count upwards starting from one. So now we have a list of trails with a row number that corresponds with the descending order to which they were completed in. We can take this query and turn it into a subquery, telling the parent query to select from subscribers, then left joining in our new subquery, adding a WHERE clause to only include rows where the row number is 3 or lower. The result will be 3 rows for every subscriber, including the trail ID and completion date. Now, if we just wanted to know what the most recent completion date was, we could simply adjust our subquery to only require the top one row. And if we wanted to try and find the first trail that was completed by each subscriber, we can simply flip the order to use the ascending option from oldest to newest. And again, only choose the top row. So as you can see, it's a pretty easy function to use and has some fantastic applications for your subscriber data. So that's a quick guide to how to use the row number over partition by function in SQL. I hope this explanation and the examples I stepped through give you some inspiration on how you could apply this function in your instance. If this video has helped or inspired you to create some awesome personalization in your Marketing Cloud account, then please share what you've achieved in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel so that you're notified when we release more Salesforce Marketing Cloud videos.